Hello and welcome here to an exclusive tutorial on Viral Effects Hive, this time about the real-time fluid simulator Ambergen and the beta of Ambergen was recently released at the beginning of May and it's a really great game changer in the realm of fluid simulation with uh, real-time characteristics. So we, here we have some volcano that is created in real time on a graphics card, on an RTX card. And you can see that the different elements and all the trails and smoke is really created in a very fast amount of time. And this is what makes uh, Embergen so powerful, so unique to all the other solvers that you can pretty much tweak and change all the settings here very easily in the node tree. So what also comes here with the new release is the ability to import your geometry into Ambergen and make it accordingly to the fluid simulation. As you can see here we have some plasma gun that is using the fluid engine very cool and very fast and you have a lot of settings as you might know also from Houdini, Fumefix or also from Fumefix for Maya. You can use here different advection modes. Advection as you might know is the way and the um, science how the particles and fluid information is transported inside this fluid medium and a lot of important scientists wrote their own fluid uh, description and as you can see when changing the advection mode here it's also changing the way everything is looking. You can also pipe in more oxygen into the fluid which makes it a bit more visible and um, interesting. You can change the resolution here very easily. And as you can see, the outcome is always something fairly different from that what is here set up at the beginning. We have the possibility to use the volume light here. And the way the volume is uh, lighted by the light so we can, for example, use the fuel scattering to make the fuel light up more smoke and uh, atmosphere. And we can also change the primitives here, the fuel rate, for example. And we also have the chance to animate everything. As you can see below below here, all those settings make up this really neat and interesting effect. So the release comes with over 50 interesting and cool presets you can use for your game or production in a very fast way of the creation. You can change here the vorticity you can make it even more more rising the fire you have um, velocity drag where you can suspend the velocities and the also known vorticity which makes everything more turbulent And it also comes with a very cool flame thrower here that throws some fire into the screen. And as you can see, I changed the advection mode and everything changes now in terms how the energy and particles are transported inside the fluid medium.
I also gonna change the smoke weight so we get thicker smoke. And you can see it's playing also in real time, which makes it very interesting, very fast and very artistically. So what's cool also is that you can um, use the cameras from your scene in this version here. You can preview everything, how it would look in the rendering tab when you render everything out. And what you can see here is what you get. What we see now is live. So that makes Embergen a real game changer, very powerful tool and a lot of fun to play with. You have also the, the ability to export your fire and smoke and elements to VDB so you can render in Houdini or in Maya or Blender or which package uh, is fine for you. And it makes so much fun to just tweaking the settings here. For example, we have here buoyancy and you can see everything is um, pretty much lifting up now. We can make some interesting and cool force, force here inside the system. And here we have another great example how the geometry is used to create some unique and interesting effects inside of Embergen. Here we have a space gate and we can tweak also the advection mode again to D, F, E, C, C. Can change the oxygen, which makes it even more burning and yearning and being turbulent. And this is what makes, like I said in the beginning, and I can't mention it enough, um, Ambigen so interesting and so powerful because this this beta release really um, changes the way we create explosions, fire and smoke. And I'm using a really normal RTX card, nothing too fancy. And you can see how fast this is working here. And we also can play here in the viewport to a decent camera setting that makes a lot of interesting effects and appearance. And you now can add objects to make your collision happening inside of this uh, great release here. So for example, you can import your own geometry to make it react to the flames and the fire. You can change the emitters and the, for example, let's take a cylinder and then you can see how everything is changing here in this great tool. Always make sure that your grid size is accordingly to the simulation you want to do. But after some days of testing and tweaking, I really start loving this tool. So it's a great addition for GPU rendering and calculation. Makes a lot of fun in the way everything is created and um, calculated. And you can get a 14 days long trial of this software on uh, Jagger FX. And let's change the temperature diffusion here. And you can see also in the preview how this is looking. You can change also the light here. Make the light more 
gathering in real time. And this is what's making so much fun just creating and looking how this is putting the elements together. So I hope that you find this release also interesting like I do and hope that you have learned something here in this pretty short tutorial. I hope to get some likes and subscriptions from you because I will continue making some interesting tutorials about Embergen in the future. So thanks for watching, check it out and have fun.